people in San Antonio to know that for every one international victim in our nation, there are 10 victims from here. That's a statistic that should put parents on edge. Tonight, parents and children from Edgewood ISD are learning how to avoid becoming a victim. The night team's Bill Barajas was there as they learned the fight against human trafficking starts at home. Our children have power. The lesson plan was kept simple, know your child. It really does start with the parent really trying to communicate with their, with their child and really knowing what's going on. Dozens of families taking no. The Alamo City, a huge hub for human trafficking. Target age, 10 to 22. It is very scary, not just for myself, but other parents, but I think them coming out and educating on this will open up a lot of eyes. Saul Castellanos, the CEO of Freedom Project Foundation, collects and analyzes human trafficking data. He says a child's bedroom may be one of the most dangerous places because kids can connect with people without the watchful eyes of mom and dad. Social media makes it possible for you to reach out to young people in any zip code, any socioeconomic factor. It's not just a certain side of town. It's what child takes my friend request, takes my ad. It's why Lisa Owens keeps close tabs on what her daughter, 11-year-old Jasmine, is using on her phone or computer. I actually do not allow her to have any kind of social media apps at all. So she doesn't have a Facebook, doesn't have a Snapchat or Instagram, is not allowed to have any of that. Castellanos says traffickers use three methods to get a child's attention, fake jobs, romance, and friendship. Once in their hands, he claims there's only a 1% chance a child will be rescued. When you take away the element of surprise, you teach them to recognize them if it's starting to happen to them. Bill Barajas, KSAT 12 News. Those human trafficking victims often reported as missing. It's a topic we covered with San Antonio police a few months ago. Right now on KSAT.com, we have information on what parents should know about their kids and their kids' friends in the event they disappear. Just click on this human trafficking story.